Hi everybody, it's Honest Sean, and you know what's going on right now? The world's richest people are gathered in Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum. And they'll be talking about such important topics as income inequality and global warming. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of what they're going to talk about is going to happen in private. So we're not really going to know what they're actually going to say. I have a feeling if they're going to be talking about global warming, they'll be figuring out ways to produce more of it. And if they're talking about income inequality, they'll be looking for ways to produce more of that too. I mean, by next year, the 1% will own more than the rest of us all put together the 99 percent. One percent of the people will own more, will have more wealth than the 99 percent. And I'll bet they won't be satisfied with that. These are the people who cause income inequality. And they're pretending that they don't know it So I guess I need to spend a second here talking to the rich people. Listen, motherfuckers. If you want to do something about inequality, stop hogging all the money. <coughs> How about paying your workers better? How about that? That just might do something about income inequality. And I'm not just talking about paying the CEOs, all that. I'm talking about paying the janitors better. And the guy in the the guy in the mailroom. And the secretary. How about paying them better? How about using your massive profits to hire some people, especially the people that you cause to lose their jobs? That would kind of be like the right thing to do, wouldn't it? How about paying your fair share of taxes? Here, here's what would happen. If you assholes just did those things, you'd still be the richest people in the world. But everybody else would be just a little better off. I mean, think about this. I'm finished talking with them for a second. Think about this, right? Right now, the people who caused the economic crash of 2008 are all in the same place. These people create wealth for themselves and create poverty everywhere, every, everywhere else. Think about this. Think about this. When you take a job that's a really good paying job here in the United States and you move it to some country where that same job now pays pennies a day, you're creating poverty in two countries. The guy who lost his job and the guy who gets his job. Only this time it ain't worth shit. Two countries they're creating poverty in.
And these people are spending more money trying to buy the government than they'd ever pay in taxes. They're spending billions to buy governments, not just here, in a lot of other places too. So they can avoid paying taxes. So that they can avoid being regulated. So that they can spill and pollute and not have to be accountable for it. And when they do actually deign to talk to us, you realize just how fucking nuts these people are. These people, right, who flew to Davos in their private jets that we paid for because we subsidized those private jets. It's one of those things they had put in the tax code. And have people waiting on them hand and foot. <clears throat> and eat gourmet meals. <clears throat> every day. Three times a day. These people told us. The rest of us. We need to tighten our belts. We need to use, get used to having a lower standard of living. That's what they actually said to us. Obviously, greed and hunger for power have driven these people insane. Forget about ISIS or Al-Qaeda. These are the most dangerous people in the world. So, forget about Yemen. We need to send the drones to Davos. Thanks for listening.